Ever wondered just how much your baby is secretly studying you? Turns out, from the moment they lock eyes with you, they're soaking up your every move like a sponge. But here's the kicker. Their little brains aren't just passively watching, they're actively scheming to become your mini-me. That's right, your baby is a master imitator in the making. And the way they learn to copy you is nothing short of mind-blowing. As a Caribbean mom myself, I know we've got our own special flair when it comes to raising our little ones. But no matter where you're from, the incredible way babies learn through imitation is universal. It's like they've got a hidden superpower that helps them decode the world around them and unlock new skills at lightning speed. But here's the thing. Not all imitation is created equal. There's a right way and a wrong way for babies to copy, and getting it wrong can actually slow down their development. So how can you make sure your little one is getting the most out of their innate monkey see, monkey do talents? Well, buckle up, because I'm about to reveal the secrets of baby imitation that will blow your mind and help your little one soar. First things first, let's talk about why imitation is such a big deal for babies. It's not just a cute party trick. It's a crucial tool for social learning that helps them pick up new skills, understand emotions, and communicate with the world around them. Studies show that babies who imitate more have better language skills, social skills, and even problem-solving abilities later in life. But here's the fascinating part. Babies don't just imitate willy-nilly. They're actually pretty picky about who and what they copy. Researchers have found that babies are more likely to imitate people they see as friendly, competent, and similar to themselves. So, when you're making silly faces at your baby, you're not just entertaining them. You're also building a bond that makes them want to be just like you. Now, I know what you might be thinking. But wait, isn't copying others a bad thing? Don't we want our kids to be unique individuals? And you're absolutely right. But here's the thing. Imitation is just the first step in a long journey of learning and self-discovery. As babies grow, they start to put their own spin on the things they've copied, mixing and matching skills to create something entirely new and unique to them. So how can you help your baby make the most of their imitation superpowers? Here are a few tips straight from the Caribbean playbook. First, make eye contact and smile at your baby as much as possible. This lets them know that you're friendly and approachable and makes them more likely to copy your actions. Second, exaggerate your facial expressions and gestures when you're interacting with your baby. This helps them understand the emotion behind the action and makes it easier for them to imitate. Third, narrate your actions as you do them. For example, if you're picking up a toy, say mommy is picking up the toy. This helps your baby connect words with actions and builds their language skills. Fourth, give your baby plenty of opportunities to practice their new skills. If you see them trying to imitate something you've done, encourage them and celebrate their efforts. And finally, don't be afraid to let your Caribbean flair shine through. Sing songs, dance, and play games that are unique to your culture. Your baby will love the extra flavor and it will make the learning experience even more fun and memorable. Now, I know you're probably eager to see these tips in action. But before we dive into the nitty-gritty, let me share a little story from my own Caribbean parenting journey. When my son was about nine months old, he started doing the most hilarious thing. Every time I would sneeze, he would fake a little sneeze right back at me. At first, I thought it was just a fluke, but then he started doing it every single time. It was like he was saying, bless you, mommy, in his own little way. But here's the thing. He wasn't just copying me for the sake of copying. He was actually using imitation as a way to communicate and connect with me. By imitating my sneeze, he was showing me that he understood what I was doing and wanted to be a part of it. And let me tell you, there's nothing quite as heart-melting as a baby fake sneeze. So, what can we learn from this little anecdote? Well, for one thing, it shows just how powerful imitation can be as a tool for bonding and communication. When your baby imitates you, they're not just learning a new skill. They're also forging a deeper connection with you and the world around them. 
but it also shows that imitation is a two-way street. Just as much as your baby is learning from you, you can also learn from them. By paying attention to what they imitate and how they imitate it, you can gain valuable insights into their interests, preferences, and developmental stage. For example, if your baby is always imitating your phone conversations, it might be a sign that they're ready for some pretend play with a toy phone. Or if they're constantly copying your dance moves, it might be time to sign them up for a baby dance class. The point is, imitation is not just a passive process. It's an active dynamic exchange between you and your baby. And the more you engage with it, the more you'll both learn and grow together. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. This all sounds great, but how do I actually put it into practice? Well, fear not, because I've got some concrete examples coming your way. Let's start with one of the most basic forms of imitation, copying facial expressions. Research has shown that babies as young as a few hours old will imitate simple expressions like sticking out their tongue or opening their mouth. This might not seem like much, but it's actually a huge milestone in their development. So how can you encourage this type of imitation? One simple way is to make exaggerated facial expressions at your baby and see if they copy you. For example, you could stick out your tongue, then point to your baby's tongue and say your turn. Or you could make a surprise face, then say can you make a surprise face too. The key here is to make it fun and engaging for your baby. Use silly voices, make goofy sounds, and don't be afraid to laugh at yourself. The more you enjoy the interaction, the more your baby will too. Another great way to encourage imitation is through simple games and activities. For example, you could play a game of peekaboo where you hide your face behind your hands, then reveal it and say peekaboo. Encourage your baby to do the same and praise them when they do. Or you could play a game of copycat where you do a simple action like clapping your hands or tapping your nose, then encourage your baby to do the same. As they get older, you can make the actions more complex like touching your head, then your shoulders, then your knees. The beauty of these games is that they not only encourage imitation, but they also build other important skills like turn-taking, social interaction, and body awareness. And the best part, they're super easy to do anywhere, anytime. No fancy toys or equipment needed. But imitation isn't just about copying physical actions. It's also about learning social norms and behaviors. For example, when you say please and thank you, you're not just being polite. You're also modeling important social skills that your baby will eventually imitate. So make a point of using good manners around your baby, even if they're too young to understand the words. Say please when you ask for something and thank you when you receive it. Use polite phrases like excuse me and I'm sorry and encourage your baby to do the same as they start to talk. You can also model other important social behaviors like sharing, taking turns, and showing empathy. For example, if you're playing with a toy and your baby reaches for it, say it's my turn now but I'll give it to you in a minute. Then follow through and give them the toy when you're done. Or, if your baby is upset, show them that you understand and care by saying something like, I know you're feeling sad right now. It's okay to feel that way. Then, offer them a hug or some other form of comfort. By modeling these behaviors consistently and patiently, you'll help your baby develop the social skills they need to thrive in the world. And as they grow older, they'll start to imitate these behaviors on their own, without even realizing they're doing it. Of course, imitation isn't always a good thing. Sometimes, babies will imitate behaviors that we don't want them to, like throwing food on the floor or hitting. In these cases, it's important to redirect their attention to a more positive behavior, rather than simply telling them no. For example, if your baby is throwing food, you could say food is for eating, not throwing. Let's put it in our mouth like this and demonstrate how to eat the food properly. Or if they're hitting, you could say, hitting hurts. Let's use our hands to clap instead, and show them how to clap their hands gently. 
The key here is to be consistent and patient. It might take a few tries for your baby to understand what you want them to do, but with enough repetition and positive reinforcement, they'll eventually get the hang of it. And remember, imitation is a two-way street. Just as your baby is learning from you, you can also learn from them. Pay attention to what they imitate and how they imitate it, and use that information to guide your parenting choices. For example, if your baby is always imitating your phone conversations, it might be a sign that they're craving more one-on-one -on -one interaction with you. Try putting down the phone and engaging with them directly, even if it's just for a few minutes at a time. Or, if your baby is constantly copying your dance moves, it might be a sign that they have a natural love of music and movement. Consider signing them up for a baby music class, or just have regular dance parties at home. The point is, imitation is a powerful tool for learning and bonding, but it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. Every baby is different, and what works for one might not work for another. The key is to be attentive, adaptable, and always willing to learn from your little one. So what's the bottom line? Imitation is an incredible way for babies to learn new skills, connect with others, and make sense of the world around them. And as parents, we have the power to support and encourage this natural process simply by being mindful of our own actions and behaviors. But don't just take my word for it. Try some of these tips out for yourself and see the magic happen. And remember, even on the toughest days, when you're feeling tired and overwhelmed, your baby is still watching and learning from you. So take a deep breath, put on a smile, and keep on imitating your way to a brighter future for you and your little one. Now, I know we've covered a lot of ground today, but there's still so much more to explore when it comes to baby imitation. From the latest research on mirror neurons to the cultural variations in imitation styles, there's always something new and fascinating to learn. But I don't want to overwhelm you with too much information all at once. After all, parenting is a journey, not a destination, and we're all learning as we go along. So instead of trying to cram everything into one video, I want to invite you to keep exploring and learning with me. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with other parents who might benefit from these tips. And if you have any questions or stories of your own to share, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the Yardi Baby channel for more Caribbean-inspired parenting tips, tricks, and insights. I've got plenty more videos in the works, covering everything from baby sleep to toddler tantrums, so you won't want to miss out. In the meantime, keep on imitating, keep on learning, and keep on loving your little ones with all your heart. And remember, no matter what challenges come your way, you've got this because you're a superhero parent and your baby is lucky to have you. Thanks for watching and see you next time on Yardi Baby.